he is bisexual and treats men with more respect lady says as she accuses uti wachuku of raping her these and many other things i'll be talking about uh, in this particular video but just before i jump right in i want you guys to actually do something for me consider subscribing to my youtube channel by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing to this amazing and exciting youtube channel and make sure you share our videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending on social media in recent week of things um you know it has been issues of allegation being um alleged that somebody raped you in the past because of this trending issue in nigeria at this particular time but a lady came out to actually accuse uti wachuku of rape in the past according to the lady she says uti wachuku respects men more than women and he is bisexual and accused him of raping her in the past that is something interesting to actually know according to what she posted or tweeted she said i said to myself now is the time I have lived in torment and self-blame these past three years. It was five minutes for Uti <laughs> Wachuku, but until justice is served, it will be a lifetime for me. I will be giving full details in this thread. He made advances at me, told me I was the prettiest girl he knew and that he was obsessed with me. I told him we can talk this out. He fled up in his words. I always Always get what I want and that was when he forced himself on me she wrote <laughs> this is all witty at this particular time and I think uh, Uti has actually responded denying the fact why is it that this lady actually waited for this long because she had a platform to actually talk and she's educated enough to actually speak for herself and right now a lot of people are saying that you need not wait for too long to actually speak against rape uh, that is meted on you that is something that i find interesting because uh when you wait too long to actually speak uh speaking at that time a lot of people will not believe your story again uh, according to her this lady by name she is Kambili Korea and um, she actually accused Uti Wajuku of raping her sometimes in 2017 and right now it has gone you know viral on social media. Uti Wajuku is the big brother Nigeria Africa season 5 winner and then this guy has been uh, an actor even also a TV presenter and you know being on different platform presenting but right now is something witty for this guy at this particular time and I think uh, we need to actually look into it. Um, deeply because it's something that we all need to actually question ourselves for but the ladies they need not wait too long to actually speak up for themselves because if they do it will actually backfire on them because a lot of people will not really um, you know care to listen to them or a lot of people will actually take it against them but in most cases I kind of understand that uh, sometimes they find it difficult to actually speak up for themselves because of the embarrassment or because of what people will say about the whole thing right now uti wachuku has actually reacted and said i didn't do it according to uti wachuku uti wachuku reacting to this lady's uh, rape allegation uh, actually came out to you know posting on social media that a lot of people should see that he has not raped anybody in the past nor in the present and it's something that is weighty i think a lot of investigation need to actually go in place to unravel the truth at this particular time according to what uti wachuku wrote on his um, you know twitter page uh, he said i reject this characterization and deny this baseless allegation in the strongest terms possible furthermore i am urging this faceless victim to report the purported crime to the nearest police station that is all interesting because you need to actually report it to the nearest police station so that they can swing to action and investigate to unravel the truth he further said i am willing to pay for all the fees you incur in reporting this alleged crime if after three days you fail to disclose yourself or report the crime i shall proceed to report the case and the blogs and other internet hosts spreading this fake news to the inspector general of police for 
for cyber terrorism and libel uh the lady has actually come out to um you know post but i think the lady is not faceless because she used a particular um you know twitter account to actually report this uh allegation i think she's not faceless Utiwachuku. you have to actually hunt her down trying to locate the owner of this uh, account that has been used to report this on social media and Utiwachuku further said i am appalled and disgusted that blogs are too lazy to properly investigate baseless claims before putting up badly scripted and edited posts on their pages all for numbers they get from the back and forth drama shame <laughs> he also said how do you put up posts from faceless twitter page created months ago you put up fabricated and photoshop chats and tweets doctored by these mindless trolls without proper investigation once again dear <laughs> faceless victim three days and your time starts now he wrote and i think is something that is all interesting to actually see because he actually wrote that with um, you know a particular picture that says say no to rape and i think utiwachuku is protesting against rape but right now they've taken it upon him to actually um, label him as a rapist and i think it's something that we all need to take serious at this particular time but according to utiwachuku he said he's going to report this to the police after three days of this lady not doing that to the police so that investigation can come up and then they unravel the truth and a lot of people will get to know the truth at this particular time because uh, according to what Uti Wanchuku said he has gone through the profile of the person that posted this on uh, social media and uh, realized that the account was opened few months ago and was used to label him a rapist and it's something that a lot of people need to actually understand and then uh, most of the times those bloggers they just jump on blog and then decide to uh, propel a story just because they want to get traffic to their you know blog page but i think it's not proper at all and i think we need to actually see this from that point of view yes all right guys there's a recent trend making around on social media as the video came out to say man i've taken people more than the way i took myself i need to take care of myself focus more on me and then the video decided to say man i'm embarking on a self cleansing at this particular time and i'm changing my phone number but a lot of people we are not comfortable with that calling out cynthia morgan because the video said a few days ago actually asked cynthia morgan to call him because of the issue Cynthia Morgan had with his uh, record boys Jude Okoye that they have to uh, come out on social media and then speak about things at this particular time but right now a lot of people are taking it against Cynthia Morgan saying that Cynthia Morgan must have been bugging the video with too many calls that was why the video decided to actually change his numbers at this particular time but the video has not said anything about Cynthia Morgan bugging him with many calls but what the video said he's going to focus more on himself at this particular time but uh some people are saying that there is a particular relationship between uh this cynthia morgan's case and davido deciding to change his phone number and what is uh cynthia morgan going to do because davido decided that to say that okay you can't reach me on phone again but don't worry guys i will be the one reaching out to you guys and that is what is all interesting at this particular time but davido who recently sprained his ankle while climbing a staircase um came out to actually say this and now a lot of people are telling it to be like Cynthia Morgan has been bugging the video with many calls <laughs> and it's all interesting on social media man I think it's all interesting on social media another thing happening at this particular time is that the video has unfollowed Peruzzi Peruzzi was accused of rape in the past and right now the video unfollowed him because uh he's uh you know former Twitter page uh Twitter post glorifying rapes trying to you know say 
sort of things about Trip was dug up and now it has been turning on Peruzzi. But Peruzzi came out on social media to say, I can't forgive myself for those dumb tweets. You know, uh, it's something all interesting because you guys need to actually understand that when putting something on social media, evaluate the effects of that later in life. That is what is happening in this case of Peruzzi. And right now, Davido has unfollowed Peruzzi. I think uh, Davido does not want to associate himself with somebody who is called a rapist and who has a lot of evidence against himself. And now, um, a lot of people are saying that the video were done because you've done that and they are commending the video. But guys, before I jump out of this particular episode, I need you guys to actually do something for me. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel. But if already subscribed, thank you for subscribing to my amazing and exciting YouTube channel and make sure guys, please share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending on social media. I love you guys. Thank you.